Now let's talk about how fluid mechanics is different from strength of material. See the very first reason that we can discuss here is if I'm applying some force, let's say this is my solid and I'm applying some shear force on it and there are these two plates that I have. So there are these two plates between them. I have put solid in first case and liquid and gas in another case. So there is this top plate on which I apply some shear force and that is very small. So I might not see any deformation at all. So the first thing is clear from here. If I am applying a very small shear force on a solid, I do not see any deformation at all. Okay. So on applying a small shear force, on applying a small shear force, I do not see any deformation. No deformation. Okay. But here in this case, in this case of fluid, if I apply the same small shear force, this small shear force, I will certainly going to see some of the deformation. So the first point is clear to us that if I apply some small, very small amount of shear force in case of liquid or gas, I will going to see a deformation in this case. So one thing is clear from here that even if you apply a small or an infinitesimal amount of shear force on a fluid, you will certainly going to see any deformation. There is no such case if you apply a shear force that you won't see any deformation. You will basically going to see the deformation. The second thing is, what is the nature of this deformation that I that is there in solid and liquid simultaneously? So in solid, if you apply the force, the deformation will be like if this is the elastic body, if the solid is of elastic nature, then I'll be going to see the effect of elasticity. And if this is my plastic body, then I can see uh, the deformation as fixed deformation so if i apply the force it might happen that if my body is of elastic nature then it will regain its shape and uh, if my body is not of elastic nature it is something which we call as um, which we call as plastic body then i will be going to see the fixed deformation in it on the contrary if i apply the same shear force to fluid i'll be going to see permanent deformation not the elastic permanent deformation okay if i apply some force this liquid will not will not come to its original position again so there we have this permanent deformation and second thing you can also say that this deformation is of continuous nature let's say i apply some shear force now if it deforms it will deform continuously and permanently permanently means it won't come back to its original position and second thing it will deform continuously let's say this is the let's say this is the liquid level here and i if i apply force the level will drop down and it will come here like this after deforming and then if again the level goes down if again you apply the shear force the level goes down in this way now from here one thing is very much clear to us that if this deformation is continuous that means what we are seeing is we are seeing change in this angle which is the deformation theta uh, with respect to time suppose in t1 time i have this this much uh, i have theta1 angle uh, from this from this normal plane and then it deforms like this so that theta1 become theta2 and then this is theta3 so what we are seeing is we are seeing change in angle with respect to time okay so there is always this change occurs with respect to time whenever there is a deformation in case of fluid so here in solid we take uh, shear stress proportional to shear strain but in case of fluid we take shear stress proportional to rate of deformation because here the deformation is changing with time but in solid it is fixed it has nothing to do with time so this is the very important point which makes fluid mechanics different from strength of material and strength of material we have this x y z coordinate and we do not have any time factor but in fluid we have x y z and this time also so this is the only thing which creates difference in both of the subjects now let's talk about the third point see if i am applying some shear force to it this solid i will be having some resistance against this shear force which will be known as shear stress or you can say tau okay i'll be having some shear stress or a, a force which we call as shear stress against this shear force okay so in solid we have this resistance to shear force but in fluid we do not have any if my fluid is in rest condition 
I'm not going to have any resistance. Okay, so in rest or you can say in a static condition, the fluid will not have any resistance against this shear force. But in dynamic condition, I'll be having viscosity that is I'll be having this I'll be having viscosity or viscous force which will resist this shear force. Now the very last point is in solid we can uh, create deformation by shear force by compressible force tensile force bending force twisting force there might be number of forces that we can apply on solid and will be going to have some deformation but in but in fluid particularly talking about liquid we will be having only this shear force which can which can cause deformation or flow in it but in gas we have shear force and compression force also shear force and compression force also how this compression force create uh, deformation in gas let's say this is my uh, container and this is the piston arrangement now i compress this gas so this will get compressed this will get compressed so in this way we will be going to have some deformation now as we have seen uh, the difference between solid and fluid or you can say strength of material and fluid mechanics in these uh, three ways in solid we have elastic and fixed deformation and in fluid we have in fluid we have permanent and continuous deformation sorry for this mistake i have interchanged it mistakenly now uh, another difference could be solid can resist tangential stress at static condition conditions undergoing a definite deformation means solid can resist uh, the shear stress but fluid can resist shear stress only in dynamic condition undergoing a continuous deformation as long as the shear stress is applied next uh, the so in solid shear bending twisting compressive and shear force and so on can, can cause deformation but, it, but in liquid only shear can uh, deform it while in gases compressive force too can deform it okay